Sweeters. Um, good to meet you guys. Um, you're in the right place. Safer Internet Project is doing something not many people or if anyone else is doing it, they're not. Yeah, so something unique. Um, it's real life experience. So uh, you made a good decision by signing up. Um, so my name is Mina. Um, I work at Rep Rapid7. I'm a um, MDR analyst. Um, yeah. My this is a bit of a background of my career since high school. Um, so started off as a physi physiotherapy uni student, worked as a, at a supplement store where I thought I was king of the world. Then I then I took too much pre-workout and tried becoming UFC champion of the world. That didn't work out. Um, and then I was just trying to see what I could do with my health degree. So I did medical repping for a bit. Didn't really enjoy it. Um, then all of a sudden, I, I like really wanted to be a police officer, like a like a badass cop. Um, so I started that process, and I worked as a security guard, and then as a prison officer, where I met Prison Mike. And then um, I left that to pursue cybersecurity. And while I was doing my studies, I worked as a disability support worker, which is actually really good. And um, yeah, so I'm just pretty much what I want to uh, show is that I had no technical background whatsoever. And till this day, I'm learning basic keyboard shortcuts. Um, and yeah, the, the way I, I got into cyber, I was just really desperate for a way out from the prison work. And I saw a Facebook ad for ethical hacking. And it said ethical hacking, average salary 170. And I'm not one to click on ads, but I clicked on it. And got a phone call next day from the from the from the company that was um, doing the learning stuff, and um, yeah, the rest is history. Um, all right. So, what I did to start off my cyber career, I got my CompTIA certificates, Network Plus, Security Plus, and SysA. They gave me the fundamentals of everything: computers, um, how to from how to use the command line bit of IP config, um, flush DNS, um, how, how a network is set up, how it looks like, how to secure it. Um, so I think CompTIA Network Plus and Security Plus are good um, certificates for foundational knowledge. But I wouldn't say if you, work, if you went straight into the workplace, you'd kind of turn around and be like, well, that course didn't teach me anything. It does, but nothing can replace hands-on experience and then ex hands-on experience with products such as Splunk, um, CS Falcon, Velociraptor, things that you really won't see in the CompTIA certificates. Sys A+, plus, it, it was just a brief overview of life as an analyst, but honestly, you can cover it in a few Try Hack Me rooms and even better. Um, did Try Hack Me and Hack the Box. Um, Safer Internet Project wasn't out at the time. Uh, I started off, I really had a passion for pen testing, so I was doing all the red teaming rooms, uh, Metasploit, uh, Burp Suite, all that stuff. It, although it didn't give me blue team experience, it still gave me experience using um, Kali Linux uh, and learning the command line in, in Linux, which is, which is um, good to have because so far every workplace I've worked at, we use um, Ubuntu and Linux. Um, what I wish I did more of, try hack me from day one. <laughs> uh, like try hack me is, a, is a awesome. It's really awesome to complement network plus and security plus. Um, you, you get you just pick up more of the industry's lingo, and um, just right like it's, it's sometimes the foundational knowledge can get a bit dry, and you want to jazz it up a bit. And with a gamified platform, so that's what try hack me can. Just, it just helps learning. Um, I wish I'd put more effort into setting up a home lab with PF Sensor Security Onion. I did set up a Pi Hole, which is like a, uh, a DNS using a Raspberry Pi, so you can uh, block ads and malicious websites in your house uh, or your whichever network. Um, and I wish I spent more time on YouTube. It, it, it's weird, like YouTube is free, but there's so much knowledge there. DC, DC CyberSec, uh, um, has a few videos setting up networks and whatnot. Same as Network Chuck, um, Lu Liang Yang. He's a pen tester. He's got awesome videos and he's really good at explaining. And Thirteen Cubed is a really good channel for digital forensics. Um, I will add links 
in the chat after the present. Um, and I wish I lived more in Linux, just getting comfortable with the command line greps, doing some grepping and um, whatever else, changing uh, um, route configuration. Because the more you do it and break stuff and then fix it up again, that, that's the best way to learn. Um, all right, what I did to secure my first job. So at right now, I'm a, a year. It took me a year and a half to get into my first role. It could have been quicker. I did take my sweet ass time some days. It, it was COVID lockdown and I definitely could have pushed a lot harder. But then again, you, you need that that balance where your mental health, you're not burning out um, and you still want to enjoy what you're doing. I believe I was DC CyberSec's first mentee. Um, DC's search engine optimization is amazing. So it's not hard to find him. I think I typed in Cybersecurity Australia and him and a few others popped up on YouTube. Um, so with with um, DC, I really want it. Like first, I guess the his resume helped me heaps. His resume, like every time, ever since I got that resume, I've it got heard a lot more back from recruiters. Um, but I just wanted confidence, more confidence, and more of a direction in what to do. How much Linux should I do before moving on to something like Python? How much of that should I do before looking into Windows security? Um, so that was pretty beneficial and um, I still have the notes from that uh, first session. Um, I hassled recruiters. I did start off sending recruiters short, boring messages. Hi, my name is Mina. I want to get into cybersecurity. That barely got any attention. Uh, it's best to say a bit about yourself, what you've been doing at home and what you can bring to the company and, and why you want that role. Um, and ever since I've, I've crafted uh, my connection note, so on LinkedIn, when you hit connection, you have connect, you have an option to leave a note, use that option and draft something up. Make sure it's something that makes you stand out because these recruiters are getting heaps of uh, messages saying, please help me get a job. Ricky Burke, I contacted Ricky Burke, he's um, uh, the CEO of uh, CyberSec people. Um, he, the first thing he did, because I was a graduate and he didn't have many graduate openings. First thing he did was uh, redirect me to a YouTube video, which is an hour and a half YouTube video. Uh, I'll post it in the chat. And um, it's pretty much telling you how to set up your LinkedIn, do some home projects. I watched that and I came back to him and uh, had a phone call and then followed up just put, put, uh, put everything into action. So, and he saw everything I was doing on LinkedIn. I was posting all my accomplishments on TryHackMe and the opportunity came up for a role with Nominate and the the way the manager described who they want is they wanted some someone motivated, enthusiastic, who wants to get into the cyber industry and I was the first person that popped up into his head because I was spamming LinkedIn and um, yeah, he shared screen, showed them my profile. I got an interview the next week and then started my first role the week after which is a huge which was a huge relief and was was yeah it was pretty awesome um and and look it, it wasn't the easiest to put everything out there on linkedin i am quite introverted but uh just i guess do as best as you can if you need help reach out to people um so ricky becker got me for my first job and a connection got me my second job so make friends connections within people in the industry uh with people with people in the industry ask them questions everyone's really friendly so far I've, I've met only lovely people um and and yeah i was just in touch with someone called uh, riz farouk who worked at rapid seven um and i told him hey man is your company hiring he said let me refer you and that's how i got my second job um people i'd like to thank uh ricky burke he's got me my first job top left um ceo of cybersec people chris and um he just he, he's a friend that just helped me whether i needed help for an interview or, or homework assignment um and, or just help keep me accountable for things awesome david lee um really helped me get my first job um it got still still i met him last week for another one-on-one -on -one session so still helping to this day taylor smith was my first manager and my first role he helped me become a better professional coming from the prison and and working there obviously the way i wrote emails was was shocking um 
so it just i wasn't good at really i wasn't really good at computers so he really helped me become a better professional and then kind of strictly um he's more technical it Taylor Smith is, is very technical, but um, Connor's stuck to the, I guess, the threat into, I guess, where I wanted to go, more of um, blue team, red team, purple team, whatever you want to call it. And he kind of um, set up a pathway for me to to reach my goal of a, of a like a pure cyber role. Um, so first job, customer resolution advisor nominate. And, and the reason, I guess the reason I'm going through this is um, to show there's not one specific, not, there's not one pathway to get to where you want to be. Uh, some people are lucky enough to become a SOC analyst off the bat. Some people uh, hit help desk role first. Some people become a network engineer first. I was a customer resolution advisor. Or while it's not um, the most cyber role, I was surrounded with everything DNS. So I got to learn the protocol and that means uh, security around the DNS protocol. And it's good at focusing on one thing because there's so much to learn. And if you have the opportunity to become great at one thing, do it. Um, and with DNS, uh, a large component of phishing and malware delivery, delivery relies on DNS, relies on um, people reaching out to domains and um, that's what we see a lot of in the blue team in in the blue world. Uh, I, I'd say eighty percent of incidents start off with either phishing or malware delivery by drive by. So um, a lot of customers who have protective DNS solutions um, are a lot safer. Um, so yeah, that covers the initial access. Uh, help me become a professional, um, improve my soft skills. And whenever, you, whenever you're in a job, you can think of it as like, I'm, I'm slaving away for a company or you can think of it, hey, I'm, I, I'm enjoying what I do and I'm getting paid and I'm learning. So it's it's paid study. So while I wasn't where I wanted to be, while I wasn't in a sock role or a, a pen tester, I was getting paid to be surrounded by cyber professionals, learn. And it was a definitely, I, I'm definitely grateful um and thankful that i worked there for the, the link that i did um all right so now that i'm a customer resolution advisor i'm, I'm really craving that cyber role and connor pointed me towards it. so there was funding within the company to do something everyone was going the oscp route um while it's full on and probably may not be the best option for the first course to do um Blue Team Level 1 is an awesome certificate for uh, for incident response and Blue Team and getting a SOC role. There's a lot of people who are already SOC analysts and the company pays them uh, pays for them to do this course. So it's not, it's, it'll guide you all the way through, help you um, uh, learn everything you need from like very foundational level to a technical level and you you'll get hands-on experience with splunk um autopsy a lot of tools that uh incident responses and SOC analysts are using in the real world and the exam is a real life um example of an incident response um it was a it's a real malware that happens somewhere and um you got to go through that can't say too much because obviously i signed it um before you do an exam you got to sign something saying you won't spill the beans and say for internet project say say for internet project gave me a lot of exposure for um just more hands-on i was doing a lot of customer stuff and i missed i missed jumping on kali linux and um finding exploits in wordpress um uh, sites and and even, even though i'll say it again even though i wasn't got going for red teaming role practicing those things opens your eyes to what's happening what would the customer what would the victim be seeing um how could the victim detect what i'm doing and you're getting hands-on experience with with linux which you probably use um again down the track um and the good thing about seeing pen testing you'll hear you hear, you'll be in a uh a, a meeting like this and you will hear something that you have no clue about and you'll google it and you'll learn and i, I find um, google docking is, is the best thing to do to learn so if i say something that you don't understand feel free to ask if i still don't make sense 
Um, yeah, uh, tuck it in Google and see what you get.